Yetis. These mysterious beasts are often said to be lovers of tinkering and innovators of robotic wonders. Many myths point to Charlotte, North Carolina, a massive industrial hub centered around economic trade and manufacturing, as the home of the Yeti. However, all myths have a basis in fact, and you can find Yetis in places you wouldn't expect. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. We are excited to bring you the first footage of the Charlotte, North Carolina First Zone, where Yetis have recently migrated due to habitat loss. Given any morning, Yetis will act like you or me, and can be seen at school or working on personal projects. But in the later hours of the day, the blue fur on their backs rise, and just like migrating birds, they know exactly where to go. As you can see, Yetis disperse through the Charlotte area, often gather and head to the first zone to lead towards their goals. The mentors often come back to guide Yetis, but understand the importance of letting the Yetis grow their skills on their own. This all coincides with the Yetis' philosophy of a student-led team. The Yeti population is exponentially growing due to its sustainable lifestyle and its mission to expand. The Yetis want to make sure everyone has the equal opportunity to experience first. In the past six years, Yeti has started four junior FLL, nine FLL, and nine FTC teams. The Yetis captivate future Yetlings by mentoring their teams, volunteering at tournaments, and providing many resources. Now, according to my studies, in the past six years, the Yetis have reached over 37,925 people and continue to reach a more diverse population every year. One of the Yeti's most heartwarming traditions is the outages that they do in the community. By interacting with other diverse populations, Yeti's become more aware of the world around them. At these outreach events, the Yeti's lead other students, community leaders, and adults in various STEM activities. At Imaginon, the Yeti's established their engineering outreach program, a weekly program in which Yeti's guides future Yetlings in hands-on STEM projects. The main reason we are investigating these creatures is due to the plethora of sightings worldwide. We noticed the Yetis focus on helping the refugee populations from places like Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Turkey. The Yetis offer their help in many ways by donating clothes, building Lego play tables, and volunteering at camps and after school projects with Project 658. I study the Pink Pipeline, which is one of the most unique parts of the Yeti Met. The Yetis established their Pink Pipeline in order to diversify their population. The pipeline includes the all-girls junior FLL, FLL, and FTC teams that the Yeti started. These teams serve to cultivate young potential female Yetilings' passion for FIRST. I've noticed the female Yetilings that go through this pipeline exhibit increased levels of confidence in themselves and their abilities. We are thankful that the Yetis let us explore their new North Carolina FIRST zone. We wish them luck in their mission to expand, empower, and diversify their community.